for a convenient way to prepare delicious meals without spending hours in the kitchen? This crock-pot small three-quart round manual slow cooker offers a three-quart capacity and high-low cook settings, allowing you to easily cook flavorful dishes that are ready when you are. With its removable round stoneware, dishwasher safe materials, and stylish stainless steel exterior with black accents, this slow cooker provides both usefulness and value for money. to show you the difference between the seven quart, five quart, and three quart crock pots. Okay, here are three crock pot brand crock pots, all different sizes. So we've got the seven quart, the five quart, and the three quart. They all are manual. So the seven quart and the five quart both have off, low, high, and warm options. And then the three quart just has off, low, and high, which I think works for the things that you may put this in anyway, which I think works well for the things that you put in this anyway. So some things that we use the three quart for, we like to use it for, for bringing a small side or making a side for our family. We may do corn or um, we also like to put, if we are bringing like chips and dip, we can put a dip in here and keep it warm. We also have put um, little weenies in here. It's great for little weenies if you're taking those somewhere or making them for your family. The five quart we really like to use for meatballs. If you're making a bigger portion of a side, you know, like green beans, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, something like that, that's a great size for that. And then the seven quart is great for soups. We do chicken soup, or um, we do cracked chicken in here, but we also do potato soup, chili, stew, all of those things. If I'm making for multiple days for my family, I love to use this one because it is nice and big. Um, and then, if we're making for family and friends coming over, we like to use this one. They have all been great crock pots, held up well. They clean really well. We just run them in the sink with some soap and water and let them dry or wipe them down and they're good to go. There are two different crock pots that we have here at the house. So they actually both are very similar. The main difference is going to be the size. So they both have a knob here for off low, high, and warm, as you can see. They're both um, stainless on the outside with a clear lid and a ceramic lining on the inside. Um, but I like to use this one if I am going to be cooking a bigger meal. A lot of times we also make um, like dips and meatballs in this smaller one so that we can transport it to wherever we are going. Lima bean and ham soup is probably one of my favorite crock pot meals that I make almost weekly. So I thought I'd leave the recipe here. Let's get into it. This recipe comes together so quickly with a crock pot, only four hours on high. So we're gonna start with three main ingredients. We're gonna do two cups of ham, two onions, and three cups of dried lima beans, a ton of garlic cloves, as much as you'd like. The spices I use are pepper, and I love to pack it with a little heat, so I do add some cayenne. And last but not least, I always add in two chicken bouillon cubes. I absolutely love this flavor and it just brings the dish together all the way around. So first, let's just start by adding every ingredient into the crock pot. Now here's the part of the recipe where you're going to have to use your best judgment. My rule of thumb is to always submerse the ingredients fully in water. And if you'd like, pour the water until it's an inch above the ingredients. Every time I felt like I should add more water, I always have, and it's always turned out great. I've never had the soup be too watery for me. And here I am again, putting in more pepper and cayenne pepper. Before you put the lid on, give it a really, really good stir. Put the lid on and let that baby sit for four hours. And by dinner time, you will have the warmest, wholesome bowl of lima bean and ham stew you ever had. So I have got to do a review on this crock pot. I have had this crock pot with my boyfriend for about four years now, and I gotta say, I was really into pressure cookers. I mean, I still am, but there is just something special about slow cookers. I just think that it has a real deep, tasty flavor to any dish that you're making. Right now I'm actually doing chicken noodle soup. Uh, everything else is at the bottom, so you can't really see it. But So basically what I did is I just meal prepped everything, threw it in here, and now I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go to the store and I'm just gonna leave it cooking. It has a pretty short cord right here, and then it's super easy off, low, high, or to keep it warm. So I'm gonna leave it on high for several hours, go do my thing. This whole part right here is detachable, so it comes out so you can take it, dish yourself out, and then also wash it in the sink. I love that it also has these handles. And like I said, I've been using it for four years. I absolutely love it. I love that it's black and then the stainless steel. I just think it looks really classy and it's kind of an evergreen looking style. This is the three quart and it is able to make usually enough servings to feed the both of us for 
I would say three to four meals each. So you can cook quite a bit in just the small three quart one. So I highly recommend. Don't miss out. Click, subscribe, like, and comment. Your active participation makes CM4 help an even more enriching space for everyone.